I don't even know how to start this video. Um, <laughs> I, I honestly, speechless. You guys have probably seen from the title. I've had a bit of a mental week. Um, this time last week, I was asked to be a Glitter Bars ambassador, which is just absolutely mental. This, like my inner beginner nail tech, three years ago is actually screaming right now. Um, but yeah, I literally, I don't even know where to start, but other than, hello guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you've all had a lovely week. Today I am obviously coming to you with a bit of an update video. So yeah, last Sunday I had a message from Glitter Bells. I was just doing my own thing, doing my usual Sunday upload. And yeah, I had a message from Glitter Bells asking me if I would like to be a brand ambassador for them, which is just like mental. Like I was actually gobsmacked. I was so, so excited. Um, obviously, as you guys know, if you watch my channel like every so often, then you will see that I've been using Glitter Bells since literally the day that I first started. Um, obviously, in my acrylic days, everything that like I got was Glitter Bells. That were, they were one of the brands that I first started purchasing from. And obviously, then we moved on to the Builder Gel and all of the videos that I've done within the past like six months or so with all the application videos, all of that sort of stuff. There's videos from years ago when I'm using all of that, their acrylic stuff in that. Um, but you guys know that even before this has happened, you guys have had my complete honest review of Glitter Bells and that was before obviously um, I was made ambassador. So you know exactly what I think about this brand and that I absolutely love it and actually swear by it. And yeah, just to get asked was just an absolute honour and I'm so, so happy to be part of them now and it's just insane. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like say a massive thank you to you guys because if it wasn't for you following me and supporting me, then things like this wouldn't happen. So thank you so, so much for joining me on my journey. It's been a three year journey now and many more years to come and I hope obviously i am helping you guys with these videos and you guys find it helpful and like i say this happening is just actually like crazy to me so yeah i just wanted to say a bit of a thank you and just kind of talk you through exactly what happened um and they have so so kindly sent me a little bit of like a kind of like a welcome pack i assume um and i've got it here so i'm gonna be unboxing it um i did pop a little story on my instagram yesterday just with like a little bit of a teaser to show you guys that it had a bit of a delivery i am actually really excited because it wasn't meant to come until tomorrow which is monday and I really wanted it for this week's upload and then it ended up arriving on Saturday. So I've been able to film this for you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to unbox everything. And like I say, I just want you guys to know that obviously you know my opinion of this brand even before this happened. So you know that you're going to get absolutely honest reviews, honest opinions, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I've had loads of you message me in the past like because I use their products I promote them anyway and you guys have messaged me like do you have any discount codes or anything and I'm like girl I wish I did because that is one thing that I'd love to be able to give to you and now I can which I am absolutely so over the moon about um, but yeah so literally this time last week um, I was doing my usual Sunday upload I had a bit of a I think it was I'll show you the, I'll pop a little picture in the corner of the post that it was, um, but it was just like a plain Bill's Gel set that I posted and then did a little story on it. And basically Glitter Bells responded to that story and just said, um, you know, have you ever thought about being an ambassador? We'd, we'd love to have you kind of thing. And I was like, oh my God, you guys know that they did actually gift me three of the Builder Bell gels when I did my last video. And obviously I was so happy to even do a video for them. Never mind, like become a brand ambassador, which is just absolutely insane. So yeah, I'd done that for them previously. And then obviously now this has happened. So it's just been a bit of a crazy few days, to be honest. I'm still getting over it. Like I don't think I will ever, <laughs> ever get over it. But yeah, it's just such an honor to become a brand ambassador for a brand that I actually love and can obviously like easily promote them because I use their products. I absolutely love them. You guys have had my honest opinions from them since the day that I started using them. And yeah, hopefully you can um, come along with me and continue to use this brand and obviously have a little unboxing. I'm just trying to hide 
because my address is on here but this is the box that they sent me with all of these goodies in them it would help if i removed the top layer of the packaging but yeah here is the goodies that they sent me and honest to god i did not and would not expect anything at all but to, for them to send me this is just absolutely insane and i'm so so appreciative so if you're watching this thank you so so much um and yeah i will get into basically what they sent me um essentially what happened was they they basically sent message me and said what's on your wish list let us know and obviously there's loads of stuff that i already use and things that i wanted to try and um, so it was hard to narrow it down um, and obviously i'm just so so appreciative of anything that would they would send to me so um yeah i basically just said to them that i trust their judgment to pick you know from the list what they what they would suggest and stuff like that so um yeah i've got all sorts to show you obviously there are some stuff that are just my staple pieces that i absolutely love to use um, and have done you know like i say since day dot and then there's some new added little things in here that i will show you depending on the length of this video because i don't want it to go on too long i might do some like on um kind of like swatching bits on a separate video but if it doesn't get too long i will include it in this one um but yeah i just thought that i would unbox all of this with you and show you exactly what i have obviously i will be able to offer you a discount code now which is so exciting now the only thing with the discount codes are that they change weekly i think obviously i'm still only a week into this and i'm still like learning the ropes a little bit but it's not like a, just a one discount code i think it changes weekly so i will put my current code in the description of this video but i think it does expire in four days and i think it only has 10 uses as well so if you are at a point where you're watching this video at a later stage then um the code will have changed by the time you look at the description so i will keep my code updated in my bio on instagram so if you're not already following me on instagram i'll pop my little handle at the bottom of the screen so that you can head over and follow me on there because i will update my code in my instagram each time it changes or if you get stuck and you try and put a code in and it's not working, just message me on Instagram because it might have been that it's changed even if like, you know, you've not seen it or anything like that. Just message me on Instagram and I can make sure you get the updated one. Um, so I'll put my link in the description and also my current code, but just remember that it will change and it does only have 10 uses. So just bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I will crack on and we will get some of this stuff opened. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it as and when they just appear at the top of the box. So this first thing that we're going to unopen is my go-to acrylic powder. Now this is one of their core powders and it is pink opal. This is upside down. Um, yeah, it's pink opal. Let me just see if I can get that to focus. I'm not too sure whether you can see it, but it's the pink opal core powder. Now this is the core powder that I use like for every single set of acrylics that I do. Um, I also have the Snowdrops White, the Clear and, and this one. I think it's just those three that I have because one i don't very often do acrylics they are very few and far between now and because obviously builder gel is just the craze at the moment and i actually think it's going to be staying like that for quite a while so i don't do as much acrylics now but i always use this pink opal when i do have acrylic clients it's just the most gorgeous pink base for any nail art or if you just like to put a color over the top anyway um but yeah this is always my go-to especially for like french anything like that this is always my go-to i will try and find a picture of pink opal and i'll pop it in the corner of like a set that i've done and used pink opal with um but yeah this has been a staple for me for like three years now because acrylics were like majorly big when um like i say when i first started and obviously they slowly start to fade out but this has been a staple for a very very long time and i go through this so yeah that was definitely on my list um because yeah i do still need it for those few acrylic clients that i have now the next one we're going to do goes hand in hand with the um, acrylic powder and this is my staple monomer now i have mentioned in a few of my videos that i use the hema free monomer so i will just focus the camera so that you can see so this is the hema free monomer so i was originally using the violet monomer i think and 
yeah i actually um i had like a bit of an allergy to um something to do with nail products a very very long time ago and when i started using the hema free monomer it cleared up and i was absolutely fine so that has been my staple since then the hema free monomer works absolutely perfectly it's just like any other monomer but it's hema free and we actually love hema free now so um yeah they were the basically the go-to for my acrylic um my acrylic gals so thank you so so much for those trying to keep it kind of hand in hand um the next thing that we're going to unbox is my favorite tips so these tips have been my go-to favorite for a very very long time so this is clear pinched square so these are my favorite tips they are the clear ones as you can see underneath they are completely clear they're a perfect length for me because my clients do like my, some some clients do like them long but not too long so i don't really need the um extreme length ones but i've used the square matte finish ones and the clear pinch square and i just think that these suit my um suit like my clients nails the best and they're quite like thick as well which i like really sturdy and it stick on perfectly i also use their tip glue and yeah these are just by far my favorite tips i know that some people some nail techs prefer other tips you know like the almond ones or anything like that i do have the almond ones but i always prefer the square ones because a lot of my clients have square and um, but they're also really really easy to make almond or coffin or stiletto and um, so yeah these are just always my go-to tips and i go through these like wildfire so thank you so so much for sending me these i am sure to get a lot of use out of those the next thing we are going to unpack is these bad boys and i have been so excited to try these because i actually haven't tried them yet these are the glitter bells unbelievable gels and these are kind of like let me try and focus the camera so that you can see them so these are the unbelievable gels and this is kind of like a super pigmented um, black and white now they do do them in other colors as well which are like perfect for nail art um, but i got black and white because these are going to be my most popular um because obviously for like white french tip black french tip all that kind of stuff and um, so these are going to be the unbelievable gels and i'll be using these for my like my frenchies and nail art and it testing these out and i will let you know how i get on with them and um, but yeah i absolutely love these kind of pots because when i'm doing french and stuff i have to like decant it out onto a mixing palette and i end up wasting a lot so to have them in these little pots is super helpful because you have a lot less wastage and they're just really super easy to just pick up and like go back in rather than having to decant more out um so yeah i absolutely love these for especially french and nail art as well so i will be giving those a go and letting you know how i get on with those they are a new product that i haven't tried yet so super excited to try those the next thing that i wanted to try was the glitter bells apron now i haven't actually opened this yet um and i have been meaning to get an apron for the longest time because i work from home i don't have like a specific like uniform or anything and i end up just wrecking so many of my clothes and i know i've been meaning to get an apron for the longest time because the dust that like sits on your clothes and stuff like that is just horrific so i've been meaning to get an apron and then i saw that glispells had their own apron and i was like i'm gonna give that a go so yeah this is the really really cute um pink one this is just obviously got the logo on the front um and like i say i just mainly wanted this to protect my clothing because i wreck so much you will understand um obviously the amount of like gel that's everywhere the dust it's just crazy like even like when i'm doing acrylics and my sleeves are like near the desk and i just wreck so many like jumpers it's actually a joke like i don't i really like should just like have a uniform and something that i wear that is okay to wreck but i just don't and i end up wearing jumpers that i've spent a lot of money on and i've got like red gel paint like all up the sleeve and it's not coming out so yeah i um i wanted to get something like this especially for the dust because the dust that sits on your clothes is just not cute so i wanted to um try one of the aprons so thank you so so much for sending me this I'm just going to see if I can try it on to show you exactly what it's like. Now, I would want this quite high up, um, like that, but it's got an adjust adjustable strap on the back. 
and then it's got a pocket here if you wanted to put anything in it maybe like your phone or something so there we go i've just popped it on so that you guys can see um but it's just got like obviously it's completely covering your clothing it's down to around my knees so it's going to completely protect all of the clothing that you've got on um and this was just exactly what i wanted as well it's a really light material so you're not going to get like super hot in it or anything um but yeah this is just perfect and exactly what i needed so thank you so so much the next two that we are going to unbox can you guess what they are these are the hema free builder bell gels so i actually popped on my list one that i am already running out of which is everlasting love now you will know that i've not actually had these that long but everlasting love has been a super popular one and i already am noticing that i'm going to run out very soon so this was definitely on my list because my clients are absolutely loving everlasting love i've actually got it on at the moment um, but not plain so what i'll do is i'll pop a little screenshot i actually think that this is what i had on when i posted and they asked me to be ambassador so that's very exciting and that just means that they it holds a little special place in my heart now um so yeah everlasting love um i'm already running out of and that was like a little replacement and then i also use um the cookie cream uh, black bottle by ab um, and the replacement obviously for the Hema free version is Ruthless. Now I do already have a bottle of Ruthless but this was obviously just because I go through it like wildfire. Cookie cream is so so popular and this is obviously the colour match so um, Ruthless was also another one. Now I've actually just thought that the two of these um, that I, I think this is two of four that I've got. Um, that I will have already swatched in another video. So what I'll do is I'll um, pop a link in the top corner of the videos where you can see me swatch these two so that I will be able to include the other two being swatched in this video so it's not too long for you. Um, but yeah, Ruthless and Everlasting Love, that is the first two. And then the second two that I popped on my list were Iconic and CEO. So these are two that I don't have. Let me just focus the camera so that you can see. There is CEO and um, Iconic. So yeah, they were just two that I didn't have on my um, on my shelf. And I just thought they would be a really, really nice addition to the little growing family that we've got. So I will swatch these so that you can see them um, because there's only two. So it won't take me too long um, so that you can see them. And yeah, I will show you them in comparison to my other colours. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for those. Then the last one that we have is something that i've been wanting to try for a very long time is the glitter bells cuticle oil now this is the almond one and i absolutely love like when i say that i wish you guys could smell through the camera i actually wish you could smell through the camera it just smells absolutely divine like oh my gosh one of my favorites so um, yeah almond cuticle oil and I've never actually had a cuticle oil that is in one of these little bottles and it's perfect because the ones that I use at the moment the ones that I use at the moment are kind of like these ones with the little pipettes on them um so you have to have like a separate brush that you like obviously put it pop it on the nail with um so with this you've just got like it two in one which is even better obviously i know you can get the cuticle oil pens but i struggle with the cuticle oil pens um letting too much cuticle oil out and sometimes leaking um so this is like the best of both worlds because you've got it in a lot little bottle you can control how much is on your brush and you've also got the brush as well so 10 10 and um, these will definitely be my go-to now um 100 this is my almond um my almond scent and they have got some other scents as well so i will definitely be trying those um but yeah so there's a little cuticle oil thank you so so much that is everything that they sent me i cannot tell you how appreciative i am it's just an absolute dream to even be sent any of this so thank you so so much um but i will swatch the um other two that i said that i will swatch for you um, just so that you can see the colors um but yeah i will do that for you now
So I've just actually added them into my book, um, but these are, this is glued in by accident. So I can't, I can't really compare them very well. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, these are the ones I've just added in at the bottom here. Um, these three are builder gels and then the top row as well. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I've basically picked out those two colors and the ones that are most similar to them just to show you the um, differences in them. So just from comparing them from the book, I would say the most similar to the new one which is iconic is actually everlasting love and i know they don't look anything like each other from the boxes now i would say that iconic has got a peachier undertone and everlasting love has got like a bit of a pinkier undertone um but that is the um the difference in these two obviously from the book they do look similar um, but i just thought i would show you the difference in them here um so as you will be able to see Iconic has actually got a bit of a peachier undertone than Everlasting Love has got a bit of a pinkier undertone. So there is a difference in those two, even though um, they do look similar from the book. And then the other two that I wanted to compare was CEO and Kind of Sexy. So you will see that these two are kind of similar. And I just wanted to show you the differences in these two um, because obviously getting two that are, are like similar is fine when they're popular but if they're not then you probably just want to get like either one or the other um so obviously this one is kind of sexy on the left and then on the right is ceo so obviously as you can see from the top of the bottles ceo is just like that little bit darker So I'll get these out so that you can show them, so I can show them. There's not too much of a difference in it and I'm not too sure whether the camera will pick up on it, but um, as you will see, the CEO, which is at the top, is just a, that little bit darker than Kinda Sexy. Um, so that is the difference in those two. Hopefully you could be able to see those on the camera. Um, but yeah, that is everything added into the book. Um, and the two newbies added, well, four, but obviously the two new ones. Um, so those are the four. Um, and I thought I would just show you the differences in the ones that are a little bit similar. So there you go guys, that is everything all swatched and I've gone through everything. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Again, I just wanna say a massive thank you to you guys because without you, this might not be possible. So thank you ever so much for watching my videos, following me, liking my stuff. Thank you ever so much. I hope you really enjoyed the video. As always, if you have any questions, then feel free to drop me a message either in the comments or you can message me on Instagram. Again, just remember that my code does change, but you can get 10% um, off any of the products that I've shown you in today's video, as well as um, uh, completely across the website. So um, yeah, I will pop the code in my description. It only has 10 uses and it has been used already, um, but let me let me know if you do have any issues because the code does change. Um, so you can message me at any point and I will give you the updated code if you can't find it, but I will pop it in my Instagram bio. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.